left wash my hands. Hi. I'm in a hurry. I'm in second year medicals today. I've been asked to come examine your heart. Is that okay? What's your name, please? Okay. So, so thank you. In the course of this examination, I will have to take your hand off, which you can see is off already. I will look at your chest. I will tap, tap around your chest as well to check for anything. Mm -hmm. Alright. I will also be feeling around your chest and also listening to your heart and your lungs like this. You feel like you're Is that okay? okay? Right. So, starting the examination, I'd like to take a step back. Alright. Inspection of the patient. Uh, patient is not in all meals, distress, not physical distress, and no physical distress, and no cardiac respiratory distress. The patient is sitting in bed comfortably. I do not see any oxygen tank, no spit on pulse, no nervous. Right? Alright. Right. Let's move on. I just look at the patient's hands. Just have a clean please. This is here. Alright, so just squatting. Well, I do not see any clothing. It's no peripheral cyanosis. Alright, I don't see any protein stain. And still on the hands, I do not see. I think that there's also any splinter hemorrhages, right? There's no genuine lesions, no primary retina, and no small cell nodes. Alright, so just feel your pulse, just feel your pulse. Just check your capillary refill. Alright, so capillary refill is less than 3 seconds. Thank you. Just listen to the pulse. The pulse is 60 beats per minute, regular reading, normal volume. Alright, and I don't appreciate any radio radio delay. Still on the vascular. Just go check on your pulse. Can you pin around your shoulder? Alright. Just going to break your pulse now. Just go lift your hand up, alright? Alright? So no collapsing pulse. At this point I would like to measure the patient's blood pressure. If the blood pressure is normal, that's fine. I also like to check request the patient's vital signs. Alright, and then I'm guessing that's normal as well. You can line up for me, please. Alright. So I also like to check for the collapsing pulse on the other side. Finishing up with the with the vascular examination. I would like to drip the patient and also expose the pelvic area and check for the femoral artery, confirm with the radial artery. Alright? And there's no radio femoral delay right now. Alright, I would like to repeat the same on the other hand. Moving downwards, I would like to check for the popliteal pulse. Just go just lift your legs up this little bit like this, both. Just go feel feel around your, your knees. Popliteal pulse is palpable, too close. Alright? And I'm gonna just come down. Put legs down, please. Alright. Feel that around. Right. Posterior tibia, palpable, normal, and also rosalis pedis, normal as well. Right. Thank you. You comfortable right there? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna come to your face right now, okay? So just put my hands on your face, right? Push me now. Look up for me. Look on the tomato parallel. Look down. Right. Don't jump this. Put my hands for me. Down to the roof. Right. So no central cyanosis. Good oral dentition. Don't jump this. And also, no clinical signs of dehydration. Mucous membrane with pink and moist throughout. Alright, I'm just gonna place my fingers on the neck now. Alright, checking for trachea centrality. Trachea is central, no deviation. I do not see any distended neck pains. Look to the left for me, please. I like to lift the bed to 30 to 45 degrees. And I check for any distended jugular vein. Jugular vein. No jugular venous distension. Alright, so JVP is normal. Thank you. You can look back. Alright, do you have any pain in your chest? No. Alright, just put it up on your chest. Place my foot around the chest, no tenderness on palpation of the chest. Now I'd like to check for the point of maximum impulse. Just put this man on your chest. Alright. Good. Point of maximum impulse is palpable. Alright. Then from the center angle, just to the coaster. Take me to coaster, third, fourth. Right, so point of maximum impulse, the apex speeds, palpable, 15 to coaster speeds, with particular line. It's not displaced. Alright. If it was displaced, I would tell the patient to land the lateral of the fetus and check for the apex space. But it's not displaced. Checking for trail now. No trail. Yes. No trail. Now go check for sternal heave. And there's no parasternal heave. Okay. If I had more time, I would like to check for the jugular reflux. Alright. Thank you. So now I'm just going to listen to the patient heart sense. I'm just going to listen to the heart, right? So try to warm the stethoscope. Alright. Let's break down. Alright, so on scotation of the heart, S1, S2, we're here and we're normal. There was no S3 and there was no S4, no gallop reading. Also, I didn't hear any more, more. But if I hear it, but I'm going to just check for more. If 
does anyone want to do this? Switching out to the bill. Right, start with the effects, the mitral area. Right. I don't know yet any mitral normal, but still I would like to time it. If there was a mama, I would like to time it with the carotid pulsation. Right? Right. So there is no mama and there is no timing of it. If there was a mama, I don't appreciate any timing. It doesn't time the carotid or stroke or downstroke, but there is no mama. But nonetheless, I would like to listen right, to the axilla to check for any radiation of the mama. There is also no mama. Take a deep breath for me. Uh -huh. Deep breath in. Hold it. Lift up. There's no accentuation, but there was no more on the left. Just lie on the left for me. Right. Deep breathing again. Uh -huh. Thank you. I right, just want you to sit up for me, please. Excuse my hand there. Also, I also know you have no more on the other side. But still, just take a deep breath. So, Breathe out. No more, no you take no more. Alright. Now I'm just gonna go behind you and just listen to your lungs. Just put the tone across the name like this. With your mouth or come take it a great in. And out. In. And out. Any tree go by like really. No crepitation. Have a tissue sound. I just like to check when you say great in man. Any pain in your life? It's a great thing, eh? Orange, you can like that. Comfortable right there? Mm -hmm. Right? And I already mentioned that that's the very first I would have liked to do that one more time. Just go bring your legs up here. Mm -hmm. And I'll come you drip and come at the chest. And check for any feeder you did, man. No feeder you did, man. Check for any feeder you did, man. No feeder you did, man. Alright. So, uh, after examining the patient, my presentation, I could not find any abnormal findings. On inspection, the patient was in no obvious distress, no physical distress or high respiratory distress, but I didn't see any of the internal alarm and no split on pulse. The examination of the hands, there was no peripheral cyanosis, and there were no peripheral signs of infection and calaritis, and by that I mean there was no splinter hemorrhage, there was no genial lesion, no slab nodes. Capillary refill was less than 3 seconds, All right. and there was no primary retina, no nicotine stain. Moving on to the face, there was no collateral failure, no jaundice, no central cyanosis, there was no clinical signs of dehydration, so no cause of pink and moist. Moving to the neck, trachea was central with no deviation, there was no standard neck pain, and GVP was normal as well. On inspection of the chest, I appreciate that the apex is point of max pain pulse, and the apex piece was felt at the fifth intercostal space in the particular line with no displacement. The patient had no trills, and there was no outstanding pain. I moved on to do a quotation of the heart sounds and I noticed that S1 and S2 were normal. There was no X3 or S4, no gallop reading as well. The patient had no murmurs, but I also checked for accentuation of the murmurs and none of the aortic or systolic murmur. There was no accentuation of aortic murmurs or mitral murmurs or any murmurs. The patient had no edema of the limbs and there was no sacred edema. The quotation of the base of the lung posteriorly was normal, the breaks and the vesicular with no crepitations. Vascular examination, patient had no radiator delay, there was no delay, there was no radio femoral delay, popliteal pulses and posterior tibia as well as distal pulses were all normal as well. The volumic status of the patient was fully volumic, there was no edema, peripheral edema. So in conclusion, I had a normal examination, cardiovascular finding, normal cardiovascular finding. I would like to finish my examination by measuring the patient's blood pressure to rule out any hypertensive episode. I would like to do a chest x-ray to check for primary edema or any kind of megaly. I would also like to request an ECG to check for any arrhythmias as well. And I would also like to do urinalysis so check for protein and blood. If I had more time, I would also like to check for brewing, the aortic brewing, the renal brewing, and the iliac brewing as well to rule out any other secondary cause of hypertension as well as to check for any abnormalities and aneurysm. Yeah, thank you. Right. So that's the history and